Hello everyone and welcome back to PS Desire. In today's tutorial, I am excited to share with you one of my favorite Photoshop actions that will help you create stunningly beautiful black and white photos. Whether you are working with landscape shots, architecture, portraits or anything in between, this action has got you covered. With just a single click, you can transform any ordinary photo into an amazing black and white masterpiece. So let's get started, shall we? First things first, you will need to download and install the action. You can find the link to download it in the description below. Once you have got the action installed, open up the photo that you want to transform in Photoshop. Next open up the actions panel by going to window menu, actions. If you have never used actions before, they are like little scripts that perform a series of tasks automatically, which saves you time and effort. You should see the action. You just install listed in the panel. To apply the action to your photo, simply select it in the actions panel and then click the play button at the bottom of the panel. Photoshop will then run through all of the steps in action and before you know it, your photo will be transformed into a beautiful black and white image. After converting your photo to black and white, it's time to fine tune the settings to bring out the best in your image. You will notice that there are three adjustment layers, curves, brightness and contrast and channel mixture. You can adjust these settings accordingly to your preference. But before you make any adjustments, make sure to hide the gradient fill layer. We will use this lost. Now let's dive into the channel mixture. Here you will see the red, green and blue channels. Each channel has its own role in shaping the final look of your image. The blue channel, for instance, makes any details in the photo stand out. By increasing it, you can make the texture and details in the image pop which can add a lot of depth and interest to your photo. The red channel controls the overall brightness of the image. Adjusting this channel can help you find the perfect balance between light and dark areas in your photo. Meanwhile, the green channel helps to adjust the midtones. This is especially useful for fine tuning the contrast and ensuring that the sh different shades of grey in your photo are balanced and pleasing to the eye. Once you have made the necessary adjustments to these settings, it's time to bring back the gradient fill layer. This layer acts like a center light, adding a subtle glow to the center of your image. You can open the gradient fill settings and move it around to place it wherever you want. I often use this on subject's face or to make any particular object stand out. It's a great way to draw the viewer's eye to the most important part of your photograph. And that's it. So here we have the before and after. Just take a moment to notice how strikingly beautiful the after image is and how much more detail it has become compared to the before. The difference is quite remarkable, isn't it? This Photoshop action is available to everyone, whether you are PC or Mac user. So what are you waiting for? Dive into the description section right now and you will find the download link waiting for you there. It's easy to install and even easier to use, but the results absolutely stunning. And remember to subscribe for more tutorials and actions. If you have any questions or need a bit of help getting started, I always here to help. Just drop a comment below and I will do my best to assist you. See you guys in my next video. Take care and happy editing.